Welcome to Moo Moo Math, where we upload a new math video every day. In this video, I'd like to talk about converting a decimal to a fraction. We will follow three steps. Step 1. We need to create a fraction, but what will the top and the bottom numbers be? Step 2. The numerator will be the number to the right of the decimal point. Step 3. The denominator will be the last place value after the decimal. Step 4. We will simplify the fraction. A quick review of place value. You read a decimal from left to right. So starting at the left, you have tenths, hundredths, thousandths, ten thousandths, hundred thousandths. I'll show you a shortcut for the denominator when I work some example problems. Let's get started. Let's go ahead and get started with converting decimals. Say we have 0.25, and we want to convert this to a fraction. Well, step number one is I'm going to create a fraction, and I'm going to convert the 0.25 into 25, and I'm going to place it over 1, and then I look at the last unit, and it is tens, hundredths, so I will place it over 100. Now, if you would like, I'll show you another method. You can just place it 0.25 becomes 25, write a 1, and then count how many places are to the right, which is 1, 2. Okay, then all we have to do is reduce, and I know that 25 will go into 100 four times, so that fraction is 1 fourth. Okay, let's look at another example, a slightly different. Convert 0.125 into a fraction. Step one is I'm going to convert a fraction. I'm going to write 0.125 as the numerator. I then will look at the last digit, and I know that it is tens, hundreds, thousandths. So I'll place that over 100. I'll show you the other method is 125, write a 1, and just count 1, 2, 3. That's how many zeros I will place. And then I reduce this. Um, so why don't we go ahead and do this. We can reduce it by 25. So 25 will go into 125 five times, and 25 will go into 1,000. 40 times, and then I can further reduce this. 5 will go into 5 one time, and 5 will go into 48 times. So it becomes 1.75. I write 75 over. I look at the last unit, tens, hundreds. Okay, and again, I know that 25 will go into 75 three times. 25, I'll write 25 there. 25 will go into 100 four times, and so there's your nice fraction. Let's look at one that doesn't work out so pretty. 0. 0.42 is equal to, I write a fraction, I put 42 over. I look at the last unit, tens, hundreds, okay? Or I can do this, write 42, write a 1, count 1, 2. And then that will equal, I need to reduce this. Well, this is kind of a, I know that 2 will go into both numbers. So I will go 2 into 42 is 21, and then 2 into 100 is 50. Okay, so there we go. That's converting a decimal to a fraction. Now, repeating fractions like 0 0.666, it's a different situation. And you can follow this link. And I'll have a video that shows you how to convert a repeating decimal into a fraction. Thanks for watching. Moo Moo Math uploads a new math video every day.